Hello. Okay, hi guys. Uh, so we're going to do a quick demo on Bamboo here. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO at Bamboo. We've been around a couple of years now, and we are running on uh, AWS, of course. Um, so if you're not familiar with the term robo advisory, a uh, quick definition. Um, robo advice just means online saving and investing of some sort. It could be for retail clients. It could be maybe a um, agent or financial advisor involved, or it could also be for uh, private banking. But uh, the demo that I'm going to show you today is uh, more for like a retail client. Uh, so it's a white label platform, meaning that we don't actually, there's no Bamboo app you can download on the App Store. We only provide our technology to financial institutions. We work with Standard Charter Bank, for example. We work with Crossbridge Capital, who's an asset manager. We work with insurance companies, etc. So this is the kind of platform that would be uh, a self-service platform for retail or affluent clients. Uh, and in fact, we launched Singapore's first robo advisor a uh, year ago, pretty much exactly, actually. Um, so this is what we do. Um, and we'll go through a little bit of a journey. So imagine you're uh, maybe like a standard charter, DBS uh, uh, user of uh, one of their retail clients, and you're thinking, oh, I should probably start saving, investing, uh, but I don't really know how to go about it. So this is meant to actually guide the user through that financial planning uh, journey. So maybe we start with age uh, and income, could be the first two questions just to kind of get people's attention. Um, and from there we go into a bit of a, uh, a questionnaire. So I can kind of choose an avatar, which I think uh, represents me, maybe that one. Uh, set my age, income, adjust that. We go through maybe a bit of a risk questionnaire. Um, again, because this is a white label platform, all of the content itself can be uh, customized. Uh, so this is again just a, a, an example, but what we try to do, for example, with risk questionnaires, instead of you know just having a form to fill in, how can we make it a little bit more interactive, a little bit more interesting, ask questions that are not financial in nature, but more behavioral uh, in, uh, in nature, and again, like have a bit of visualization just to make it a little bit more uh, engaging. So we'll go through the risk questions, talk about spending, how you like to uh, invest, maybe do you have experience in the, this kind of thing, what are you really looking for, etc. And then we arrive at this page, which is um, part of our recommendation engine. So again, based on just age, income, and location, in this case Singapore, what we're doing here is using our AI methods to predict what is probably, based on your income, uh, your likely ability to save uh, in terms of discretionary income on a monthly basis. So like, how much could you save uh, basically for your goals. Uh, and similarly, like given your age and income, how much are you likely to have in terms of, uh, let's say, existing savings, liquid assets that you could potentially invest? Um, the intention is not to say, or like force people to do something, but the intention is if you're a first time investor and these are just empty values, you think there's a right and a wrong answer, you think it's maybe a little bit scary. So we're just trying to show what, what are people like you doing uh, as a template that you can use and then change if you want. Uh, the real party trick here is this next screen, which is uh, using another AI algorithm. We are actually choosing from our database of financial goals. So these could be things like buying a car, buying a house, going on a holiday, uh, saving for retirement, kids' college, investment, real estate, whatever it is. We try to pick, based on your profile, what are the four most likely financial goals for you that you might be interested in? Again. You know, we could just have an empty page here and you could set up your own goals. But the point is, if you've never done this before, it seems like a daunting task. So we're trying to shorten the time that it takes to put together a financial plan. And also share, like, hey, what are people like you doing? You know, people in your age group are starting to think about retirement a little bit. So you might want to put some money aside for that. Um, people in your age are, you know, buying their first home. And since we're in Singapore, you know, you're probably looking at a property in the price range here, it says $700,000, which is probably realistic. Uh, and asking what time frame do you think you might be interested in buying that home? Uh, similarly for education, we have assumptions around what's the cost of education in Singapore, for example. Uh, so again, just to make the financial planning process easier for the user. Now you could do this with a financial advisor, of course, it would just take you five hours. And most people, unfortunately, don't qualify for financial advisors, right? So if you only have a few hundred dollars to invest or save, nobody's really interested in your money. Therefore, this kind of automation can help, let's say, low-income families even uh, actually start thinking about their future because it's automated and therefore cheap. Uh, so let's say I, I choose this goal. I want to do retirement, kids' education. Uh, I'll just customize this by adding that my daughter is six years old. I'll type in her name 
There we go. And what we're going to do is run a financial health check algorithm. So we're actually checking whether your financial situation that you've uh, shared with us actually supports these goals. So in this case, it's saying, oh yeah, perfect, your goals can be met. But we could just show an example if I want to also buy the house in, uh, what is that, four years time, it's going to tell me that I have a significant shortfall. So it can't be done, I'm doing, doing too much uh, with my goals. So then it gives me options in terms of, well, you know, do I want to delay that? Should I think of a different budget in terms of my home, etc.? So we're trying to help people do their own thinking in terms of what's possible and realistic with their finances. Or, for example, could I possibly save more each month, which would allow me to do more, uh, more goals? Now, if we move along with this plan, what we then do with the uh, algorithms is we take your finances and we find the optimal allocation for each of your goals. Because remember, say like a my daughter is now six. I have, I guess, 12 years time to now save for, for college. Um, but if I'm saving for retirement and I'm mid 30s, I might have 30 years time to save for that. So there's different time horizons um, for each. I might have different priorities, different risk capacity for each goal. So we're really treating these separately. So what you'll see here is uh, we've invested most of the initial uh, savings that I've accumulated into retirement. 